What's going on nation? Today I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to properly perform a pull up. And I'm also going to go over some ways that you can increase the amount of reps you can do when doing pull ups, especially as a beginner. Now the pull up is one of the best exercises that you can do in order to build a nice big wide back. The primary mover here is going to be your lats. And the secondary mover is going to be your bicep. So you will have some bicep involvement when doing this exercise. Now, mind muscle connection is super important when doing pull ups. And the reason why I'm saying this is there's a lot of people out there who like to do kipping pull ups or basically just using any sort of momentum that they can in order to get themselves up and over the bar. If you guys want to focus on building a nice, big, thick, wide back, you need to make sure that when you're doing your pull ups, you're able to isolate your lats as much as possible. And you're going to get a lot more isolation in the negative part of this movement if you do a nice, slow, controlled negative and also also if you go all the way down with every single repetition. A lot of people when they do pull ups they fall in the habit of doing half reps. And what I mean by that is they pull themselves up chin over the bar for the first rep and then for every single rep after that all they do is go down halfway and then back up again. Which is actually putting a lot more tension in the biceps than you're putting in your lats. So if you've been doing pull ups for a while and you're not seeing a lot of growth in your back, that could be one of the main reasons why you're not doing proper form. So make sure whenever you're doing pull ups you get a dead hang after every single repetition and you feel the engagement in your back. So make sure on every single repetition you go up and over the bar, all the way down, hang for a second, up and over the bar, all the way down and repeat. Now if you're a beginner and you're trying to increase the amount of pull ups you can do in a row or if you're having a hard time doing pull ups in general, I have a few solutions for you. The first solution would be, would be to get something like this and this is actually a, a fancier contraption. You can actually just get one of those big bungees and use that as well. But what this will do is you actually put your foot in here and it's going to displace your weight so you can do more pull ups in a row. And you can adjust this by either changing the amount of length that's in the rope right here. Obviously the shorter it is the more uh, help it's going to give you, the longer it is the less help it's going to give you. Or if you're using a bungee you can just get different resistance type bungee. So obviously if you're using a really thick bungee it's going to give you more assistance. If you're using a really small one it's going to give you less resistance to help you with your pull up. Now when utilizing something like this you still want to make sure that you're doing full range of motion and you're really isolating the area and if you are using something like this to assist you utilize this product to allow you to really focus on that mind muscle connection. This is displacing a lot of your own body weight so the pull ups are going to be easier. So utilize that to really flex and squeeze your lats as you go up and as you go down. It's going to help you guys build a lot more strength in the area and you'll be doing more pull ups in no time. Now if you don't have access to any bungees, what I want you guys to do is find a box or something you can stand on that's close to your pull up station. And what you're going to do is you're going to stand on the box and utilize that to jump up and hold yourself in the air so your chin's over the bar and then focus on slow negatives. Remember guys, the majority of the muscle damage happens in the negative portion of the movement. Which is why it's absolutely ridiculous when you see people doing half reps on pull ups. They're missing an entire portion of the movement to build bigger lats. So what you're going to do is just start performing multiple reps in a row, as many as you can. Maybe set a goal for yourself to do 10 to 12 repetitions and after each slow descent you're going to stand back on the box, rest for a second and then jump back up, hold yourself over the bar for one second and then slowly lower yourself again. So you're doing negative pull ups here and what this is going to do is going to help you build the strength you need to do more pull ups in a row without assistance. One final tip I want to leave you guys with, especially for those of you who can't do the other suggestions, is what you can do is set up a bar that's at about chest to, to neck level. And then what you're going to do is use this bar as an opportunity to keep your feet on the ground but still perform pull ups. Now, 
The hardest part about this is shutting off your legs. I mean, obviously your feet are on the ground, so there is the possibility that you can push through your feet if you require the help in order to do the pull up. But what you want to do is really focus on trying to keep your legs basically dead and pull your body up. By having your feet on the ground, you're displacing your weight so your upper body will feel lighter as you perform the pull ups. So give that a shot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My main goal here is so that you guys can do more pull ups and build that nice big wide back that you've always wanted. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great tips con and content. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.